Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I will showcase Star Platinum the World, a Requiem stand. Let's get straight into it. So, these are all Star Platinum's moves. The first move is the barrage. This is the barrage from the side. Does about 1.7 damage. Uh, th the next move is the barrage finisher. Uh, you do the barrage finisher by pressing R and the barrage by holding E. This is the finisher from the side. This is the barrage from the front. And the finisher from the front. Next is the platinum slam. You do that by pressing the T key. BAM! It does area damage and also a lot of damage. So that's pretty good. Next is the Skull Crusher. The Skull Crusher is like a mini time stop where you hover your mouse over someone, you do the Skull Crusher, you teleport to them and hit them in the head, of course. Uh, so you do the Skull Crusher by pressing the Y key on the keyboard and hovering your mouse over someone. That is Skull Crusher. Next is Time Skip. You do Time Skip by pressing Z and you teleport to your mouse's position. So if I want to teleport to them, I do that and I'm on them. Next is Stand Jump. You do stand jump by pressing X. You press it, and that is stand jump. Next is the time stop. You can do the time stop whenever you want. You just press the H key, and that's time stop. As you can see, they're completely helpless. They can't move in time stop, so it's sad for them. Um... The second last move is the Aura Beatdown. You press the C key to activate the Aura Beatdown. It does one single hit, and if it collides with anyone, they get stuck in the Beatdown. This is the Beatdown. Wow, they even survived that. It does a heavy blow at, of 20 at the end. Yeah. I bet. It does a heavy blow of 20 at the end, and it removes their stand. Uh, so you have time to put in even more combos. I will show you the last move in a second. The last move of Star Platinums is the Awakening... Thank you. Shout out to Oompa Loopers. Um, but the awakening is the J key. You press it. You move slightly faster. As you can see. I'm moving pretty fast. Star Platinum's eyes start to glow. I order perfect block every perfect bl blockable move. And I gain extra defense. I had to mute this because of copyright reasons, so sorry. Do a heavy hit. Click, right click, twice. And let's block. As you can see, that was a perfect block because the block was red. And that's the end of the awakening. So that's all of the moves. Alright, so now I will show you a 1v1. 3, 2, 1, go. And I'm sorry I had to mute this, but just for this. Bam, the Platinum Slam. Let's do the Skull Crusher. 
Then a barrage. 1.4 damage. It's lower than 1.7 because I uh, had to reset my points. Oh, I almost blocked. Oh, there we go. Nice block. Finisher. Oh, I missed that. A barrage. It's time stop. Bam. And just some clicks. A uh, platinum slam. A finisher. Let's see what that does. And GG. And that is the 1v1. This is Star Platinum, the world's skill tree. Uh, it costs an entire 70 points to fill it all up. Yes, I know. It's a lot. So, if we head left, we get destructive power 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Off destructive power 1, you can get uh, combat precision. And precision 1, 2, and 3. And off destructive power 3, you can get aura beatdown. Platinum Slam, and Stand Jump, and Stand Jump Upgrade 1, 2, and 3. And also, if you head to the right from the main thing, you get Time Stop Resistance, and Time Skip, The World, Time Stop Mastery 1, and Time Stop Mastery 2. At Time Skip, you can head right to get Skull Crusher. And yes, the skill tree is shaped like a star. That is Star Platinum, the world skill tree. Alrighty, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified when I make a video. Thank you all for watching, and see you all next time.